All right, folks, welcome to uh, another year of hunting with Jim. Today is uh, September 18th, I believe it is, 2020, uh, Saturday, uh, down here in Gates, North Carolina, on the edge of a uh, broom straw field and, and soybean uh, crop. Did manage to jump a, a doe as I was making my way to the stand, but uh, I don't think I boogered it up too terribly bad. Winds today, they're out of the uh, out of the north northeast at somewhere around uh, 10 to 15 mile an hour. Pretty pretty stiff breeze that's that's blowing back out here off my right shoulder out into the uh, the, the field and. Uh, should be taking my scent away. Hoping to catch the deer as they're coming uh, out of the uh, bedding area over to my left, uh, making their way towards the soybeans. So that's the plan for today. Uh, stick with me, and uh, hopefully we'll we'll get to see some animals. So okay, folks, I'll kind of show you my setup I have today. Uh, apologize for the wind noise. I did not bring my uh, shoe for my external mic so uh, I guess it is what it is uh, if you look down kind of off to the left below my stand you can see where deer have been browsing on some sort of plant I don't I don't know exactly what it is but uh, they're using that area as a staging area uh, probably just before dark before they make their way out to the uh, soybeans um, I'll pan on around it's nice and slow. Let's go. Kind of get a look at, uh, at what I'm seeing from my stand here. I'm only about 15 feet off the ground today, but as you can see, uh, we do have a broom, broom straw field. And uh, about 50 yards on the other side of the broom straw is a uh, I don't know, probably 10 acres or so of soybeans, still nice and green. Deer should uh, should be enjoying those this time of year. Did bring along something a little different this time. I don't know if it'll be uh, helpful or, or harmful, but I'm going to try this thing here. From the ground, On the ground, all you can see is the head sticking up in that broom straw. And I'm hoping maybe it'll uh, bring a, uh, a curious deer within bow range. If not, yeah, it's just an experiment. Today's the first day of the season for me. So uh, I don't have any any real expectations. I'm just uh, enjoying being out here. Continue around to, to the right here. Show you the rest of the setup. Like I said, not terribly far off of Highway 158. I'm actually parked behind uh, the remnants of an old abandoned house that had been torn down. That's my old uh, 2018 Dodge Power Wagon. That's a pretty badass truck, but uh, I will tell you that uh, I did get it stuck out in the middle of that field making my way in here today. I got off the path uh, trying to turn around and buried it up to the frame. Um, fortunately, I had some max tracks, uh, which uh, between that and locking in the front and rear, rear axle, I was able to get out. It was, uh, it was not fun, but uh, after about 20 minutes, I was able to free her. Now I'm not sure if we'll get an opportunity to have any deer come from uh, back behind us. That would put them. Uh, that would put the deer downwind of me. Uh, the way the wind's blowing today, um, I'm pretty scent free up here, to be honest with you. But I'm just not. Uh, I'm not confident that, that that's going to be my my shooting lane. Today I got the old uh, 
bear archery arena. Was their flagship bow when it first came out? It is several years old, but uh, it still sends them at about 300 feet per second. It's a fairly quick bow. So, folks, I want to share something I just noticed. Uh, just after my initial interview, I happened to look down. And look here, folks. I noticed I'm not clipped into my uh, safety line. <clears throat> Could have been a, a terrible mistake. Um, I had dropped something, so I, I climbed down the ladder stand to uh, to retrieve it. And uh, once I got back up here, I failed to clip back in again. Just want to uh, make sure that everybody's aware that accidents do happen. 99% uh, of the time, I am clipped in. However, in this one case, because of oversight, I'm putting myself at risk so make sure you start your season off right make sure you start your season off safe learn from my mistake fortunately it was just a minor one nothing happened but it could have been catastrophic I'm clipped in now I'm safe and I'm ready to hunt wish me luck